Good morning. I am Dr. Sunil Nathamaske, Professor in Pediatrics and Dean in Dr. Vithalra V.K. Patil Foundation's Medical College and Hospital. Today, we are going to discuss a very important topic, which is quite relevant in today's scenario, that is the child autism. It is also known as autism spectrum, autism, autism spectrum disorder or autism spectrum condition. Epidemiology, World Health Organization estimates that one in 100 children have autism. That is quite high proportion. The large number of people diagnosed has increased considerably since 1990, which may be due to increased recognition of the condition. Boys are diagnosed far more frequently than the girl, that is 1 in 70 proportions. Girls are more likely to have associated cognitive impairment, suggesting that less severe form of ASD are likely to be missed in girls. Prevalence of autism is 0.7% or in short, one child in 143 children. Slightly historical aspects, the new Latin word autismus was coined by the Swiss psychiatrist Eugen Blurer in 1910 as he was defining symptoms of schizophrenia. Second pioneer in this case of autism is the Soviet child psychiatrist Gronyas Sukwaran. He described a similar syndrome in Russians in 1925 and in Germans in 1926. Definition, autism spectrum disorder is a biologically based neurodevelopmental disorder with core deficit in two domains. That is, first one is the social communication or interaction and second domain is restrictive, repetitive patterns of behavior. These two domains are basically affected. A neurodevelopmental condition characterized by difficulties in social interaction, verbal and non-verbal communication, and the presence of repetitive behavior and restricted interest. In short, autistic disorder is characterized by persistent deficit in the ability to initiate and to sustain reciprocal social interaction and social communication and by a range of restricted, repetitive and inflexible pattern of behavior, interest or activities that are clearly atypical or excessive for the individual's age and socio-cultural context. Autism is an unusual response to sensorial stimuli. It is as of DSM-5 classification as per psychiatry and ICD-11 classification of autism. It is a spectrum disorder, means that it can manifest differently in each and every person. Etiology, there is as such no clear-cut etiology, but possible hypothetications are neuroanatomical abnormalities. Sometimes it is blamed as environmental factors. Genetic pattern in autism is complex and 2% of the cases of autism are related with the fragile X syndrome. Pathophysiology of autism is that autism symptoms result from maturation related changes in the brain and abnormal neuropsychological linkage between brain structure and its behavior. Also, there is abnormalities in the frontal lobe, mirror neuron system, limbic system, temporal lobe and corpus callosum. Sometimes it is also observed that there is abnormal pattern of cortical thickness and gray matter volume in those regions of autistic people's brain. Last one theory is also claimed regarding the autism is the gut-brain axis abnormalities. In this case, there is a gastrointestinal inflammation, malfunction of autonomic nervous system, gut flora alteration, and food metabolites abnormalities, which leads to neuroinflammation and dysfunction. There are two developmental patterns of the autism. First one is a gradual autism development in that 
autism features appears within the first or second year of life. Over features gradually begin after the age of six months, become established by the age of two to three years, and tend to continue throughout the adulthood. Early signs of gradual autism development are decreased attention at faces, failure to obviously respond when name is called, failure to show interest by showing or pointing and delayed imaginative play. Its diagnosis is made around the three to four years of age. And second type is regressive autism development. It is also known as autism with regression, autistic regression, setback type of autism or acquired autistic syndrome. In this regressive autism, it occurs when a child appears to develop typically, but then starts to lose speech and social skills. There are two subtypes of this regressive autism development. First subtype, where the developmental loss occurs in the first 15 months to three years of age. And second type, where childhood disintegrative disorder is characterized by regression after normal development in the first three to four years or even up to nine years of life. After the regression, the child follows standard pattern of autistic neurological development. Onset of regressive autism can be surprising and distressing to the parents who often initially suspect severe hearing loss in the child. Regression may occur in a variety of domains, including communication, social, cognitive, and self-help skills. There are a wide range of features in autistic child, but few of them commonly noticed at a particular age. Here I am going to highlight first important feature which occurs in autistic child that the child avoids or does not keep eye contact. At the age of nine months, child does not respond to his name. By the age of nine months also, child does not show any facial expression like happiness, sadness, angriness, or surprise. At the age of one year, child does not play simple interactive games like a pet a cat. Also, he uses very few or at least no gestures, for example, to say the goodbye. By the age of 15 months, child does not share any interest while playing the others. Also, by the age of 18 months, he does not point something of his interest. It is observed by the age of two years that child does not notice when others hurt or upset him. By the age of 36 months, he does not notice other children or join them for play. By the age of 48 months, child does not pretend like a teacher or a superhero during playing. And by the age of five years, that is 60 months, child does not sing, he could not dance or act like a drama. These are the signs of the autism along with delayed language skill, less interest in other children or caretaker or his interesting objects, difficulty in playing reciprocal game like a peekaboo game, increased sensitivity and response to smell, texture, sound and taste. He is very resistant to change his routine. He likes to do repetitive, limited and otherwise unusual uses of the toys. He has an echolalia, that is repetition of words or of phrases. Steaming is very, very important behavior in autistic child. That is the self-simulating behavior. Means repetitive motions or a speech like clapping hands, rub on objects, or repeat a phrase. This is known as steaming behavior. Sometimes it is also observed that child develops the self-harming behavior or self-injuring behavior. He has also abnormal eating pattern. On near about 60 to 80% of the autistic child has motor signs like poor muscle tone, poor motor planning, and toe walking. There is one syndrome known as seven syndrome. Some autistic children has notably ability in mathematics, music, and artic, artistic view. So this is known as seven syndrome. 
these are age wise developmental problems in autistic child like at birth there is a trouble in maintaining eye contact at the age of 9 month child is not responding by his name not displaying facial expression reflective of their emotions like surprise anger happiness sadness at the age of 1 year he is not engaging in basic interactive games like a peekaboo petter cake he is not using or very few hand gestures like hand waving saying goodbye at the age of 15 months he is not sharing their interest with others at the age of 18 months child is not pointing or looking where other points at the age of 2 years he or she is not noticing when others appear sad or hurt at the age of 30 months child is not engaging in pretend play like caring for a baby doll or playing with figurines and at the age of 5 years child is not playing turn taking games like duck duck goose or other games these are the red flag signs for autism every parents and teachers and pediatrician should notice this red flag signs in the every children first red flag sign for autism is poor response to name called by the age of 1 year no meaningful words by the age of 18 months he or she does not play with toys appropriately there is a fixed pattern of interest or a fixed pattern of activities there is a decreased interaction with the peers friends and family members he or she has odd movement pattern and or very repetitive behaviors child has a echolalia that is repetitive words sometimes he is a hyperactive these are red flag signs along with autism some of the other conditions are also associated it is known as comorbid conditions so comorbid conditions with autistic child in 11 to 40% has a seizure disorder convulsions or epilepsy 1 to 4% has a tuberous sclerosis 30 to 40% has intellectual disabilities also genetic syndromes like fragile x syndrome down syndrome prader willi williams syndrome these syndromes are associated with autism 25 to 75% of the child has a learning disability maximum children has anxiety some of them are associated with depression or schizophrenia also have attention deficit hyperactivity disorders near about 40 to 80% of the children has sensory processing disorders and severe metabolic defects like phenylketonuria diagnosis is very difficult to make because there are no standardized imaging molecular or genetic test the behavioral manifestation of autism depends on one's developmental stage age of presentation current support and individual variability there are multiple condition that may present similarly to autism spectrum disorders like intellectual disability hearing impairment landau cliffen cliffner syndrome attention deficit hyperactivity disorder anxiety disorder or psychiatric disorder diagnosis of autism before the age of 2 years is not reliable so diagnosis becomes stable over first years of life most severe form of autism are more likely to be diagnosed at an earlier age so diagnosis of autism in adult poses unique challenges because it still relies on an accurate developmental history and because autistic adults sometimes learn coping strategies that is known as camouflaging which makes diagnosis of autism difficult there are other diagnosis helping classification is dsm5 or dsm5 tr in this classification child must have at least two of the following behaviors there are four behaviors out of that two should be there to know as a, or label as a autism first is a repetitive behavior rocking hand flapping finger flicking head banging or repetitive phrases or sounds these are very common in this first criteria these behavior may occur constantly or only when the person gets stressed anxious or upset second type of behavior 
is resistance to change. A strict adherence to routines such as eating certain foods in a specific order or taking the same path to school every day. It is very common in autism. Third is the restricted interest. An excessive interest in a particular activity, topic, hobby, or toys and devoting all their attention to it is known as restricted interest. Fourth is the sensory reactivity. An unusual reaction to certain sensory inputs such as having a negative reaction to specific sound or a texture or being fascinated by light or a movement is known as sensory reactivity. So out of repetitive behavior, resistance to change, restrictive interest and sensory reactivity, two features of behavior should be known, should be there to diagnose as a DSM-5 or DSM-5-TR for autistic children. Next scale is a repetitive behavior scale. It is known as revised RBS-R scale. In this scale, there are six criteria. First one is the stereotype behavior, like repetitive movements such as hand flipping and head rolling. Second, compulsive behavior, like time-consuming behaviors intended to reduce the anxiety, such as placing objects in a specific order, checking things, or hand washing. Third one is the sameness, that is the resistance to change or refusing to be interrupted. Fourth one is the ritualistic behavior, unwearing pattern of daily activities, such as an unchanging menu or dressing rituals. Fourth, fifth one is restricted interest, preoccupation with a single television program, toy, or a game. And last important one is the self injury, that is very important eye poking hand beating, hand banging, self cutting or self beating. There is also American Academy of Neurology in 2000 and American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry in 1919 developed two levels of autistic behavior. That is a level one screening is the initial screening done by the general practitioner. And in level two evolution, it is done by the experienced clinicians. Also, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorder in the fifth edition published by the American Psychiatric Association, they have recognized five different autistic subtypes are one with or without accompanying intellectual important impairment, second with or without accompanying language impairment, third associated with a non-medical or genetic condition or environmental factors, fourth associated with another neurodevelopmental, mental or behavior disorder, and last with catatonia. Next is the autism diagnostic interview that is known as revised ADI-R and autism diagnostic observation schedule ADOS. These are the gold standards for assessing autistic children. The autism diagnostic interview revised is a semi-structured parent interview that probes for symptoms of autism by evaluating a child's current behavior and a developmental history. Whereas the autism diagnostic observation schedule, that is ADOS, is a semi-structured interactive evaluation of autism symptom that is used to measure social and communication abilities by eliciting several opportunities for spontaneous behavior, like eye contact in a standardized context. Also for diagnostic of autism in a toddler, there's a modified checklist for autism is known as MCHAT. It is common screening tool where parents have to fill the 23 questionnaires and accordingly it is assessed by the pediatrician or evaluator in order to diagnose as a autism. Management of autism. As such, there is no treatment for autism Treatment of co-occurring conditions remains the important goal. The main goal of treatment are to lessen associated deficit and family distress and to increase quality of life and functional independence. Behavioral, psychological, education and or skill building intervention may be used to assist autistic people to learn life skills necessary for living independently as well as other social communication and language skills. 
management of comorbidities such as intellectual disability, ADHD, anxiety, and depression is a critical in the effectiveness of treatment. Management of autism is a team approach. The team consists of pediatrician, child psychiatrist, child genetics, and rehabilitation expert. Psychoeducational approach to enhancing cognitive, communication, and social skills while minimizing the problem behaviors. There are certain developmental models are used in the treatment of the autism, also structured teaching, speech and language therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, social skill therapy, developmental social pragmatic models, evidence-based interventions, and role of psychoactive drugs and anticonvulsions, also along with casein free diets, pet animal therapy, are the latest few trials done for the management of the autistic children. Also, there is one model for management of autism children is known as applied behavior analysis. There are two points in this applied behavior analysis is the discrete trial training where step-by-step -step instructions are given to teach a desired behavior or response. Lessons are broken down into small parts and desired answers and behaviors are rewarded each time. Undesired answers and behaviors are ignored. They are not punished. Second point in ABA is a pivotal response training. It takes place in a natural setting rather than in a clinic. The goal of is to improve a few pivotal skills that will help the person to learn many other skills like initiate communication with others. And also there is a role of occupational therapy. In this occupational therapy for management of autism is the sensory integration therapy to help to improve responses to sensory inputs and physical therapy helps to improve physical skills like fine movements of the fingers. For educational approaches, the treatment is given in the classroom. One type of educational approach is the treatment and education of autistic and related communication handicapped children approach. It is commonly known as tech approach. It is based on the idea that people with autism thrive on consistency and visual learning. It provides teachers with a way to adjust the classroom structure and improve academic and other outcomes. For example, daily routines can be written or drawn and placed in a clear sight. Boundaries can be set around learning stations. Verbal instruction can be complemented with visual instructions or physical demonstrations. Now there is a social relational approach in the management of autism, which focuses on improving social skills and building emotional bonds. Some social relational approaches involve parents and peer mentors. The developmental individual differences, relationship-based models, also called floor time, it encourages parents and therapists to follow the interest of the individual to expand opportunities for communication. The relationship developmental intervention models involves activities that increase motivation, interest, and abilities to participate in shared social interactions. Social stories provide simple description of what to expect in a social situation. And lastly, social skill group provide opportunities for people with autism to practice social skills in a structured environment. We have seen the management of autism, diagnosis of autism, now prevention. While infection and rubella during pregnancy causes less than 1% of the cases of autism. So it is advised to take the rubella vaccines to avoid this 1% loss with autism. Prognosis. Actually, there is currently no evidence of a cure for autism. Many autistic people face significant obstacles in transitioning to adulthood. Some autistic adults are unable to live independently. The risk of autism in next pregnancy is 10% greater than one child and about 34% with two or more previous childs with idiopathic ASD. So risk increases with subsequent pregnancy. Few things with social awareness of autism. This is the ribbon for autism awareness. Also, 
for create awareness with the autism world autism awareness day is also celebrated the united nations general assembly unanimously declared 2nd april as a world autism awareness day it highlights the need to help improve the quality of life of those with autism so they can lead full and meaningful life as an integral part of society also autism sunday is observed on second sunday in february it is also known as international day of prayer for autism spectrum disorder it raises awareness of autism a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects how people interact socially and with their surrounding it was first held in 2002 during autism awareness year in uk also autism pride day is a cel- pride celebration for autistic people which is held on 18th june every year it recognizes the importance of pride for autistic people and its role in bringing about positive changes regarding autism in the society so in short we have seen that rising pers- proportion of diagnosis of autism and its prevalence is near about 1 in 100 as per who there is no clear cut environmental genetic or any other neurodevelopment etiology for autism and has a two types that is the one is the progressive and second one is the regressive type of autism its presentation widely varies depending on the age group of the child but it mainly affects social verbal and communication skill of the child and this children's diagnosis is difficult because there is no one single etiology for diagnosis also it is management is also difficult because it is a disorder which is in occurs in spectrum so it is a team approach various communication skills occupational therapy educational therapy various developmental models which leads help in the diagnosis and treatment of the child are established and its prognosis rise with subsequent pregnancies for this create the awareness of the autistic children various days are celebrated in order to help these children and they should participate effectively in the society thank you